how to run a Python script on a remote machine after transferring it? I'm going to show you a live demo with some simple Ansible code. I'm Luca Burton and welcome to today's episode of Ansible Pilot. Let's talk about the Ansible module script. The full name is ansible.builtin.script which means that it's part of the Ansible built-in module included in uh, the Ansible-core platform. The purpose of the module is to run a local script on a remote node after transferring it. Parameters Let me summarize the main parameters of the module script. This module doesn't have any required parameters, but some options become necessary in this use case. The GMD parameter specifies the script name or path. The executable parameter specifies the interpreter name or path. Demo time. Let's jump in a real-life Ansible playbook to run Python script on a remote machine after transferring it. I'm going to show you how to create a cars.py custom Python script that output a simple JSON file, pretty common use case, transferring to a remote machine and executed using Python 3 interpreter. Are you ready? Let's have a fun! Welcome to my editor. Let me show you one custom Python file that returns a JSON list of uh, elements with key value. So this file is called cars.py and returns some car manufacture. First of all, let's start with a shebang that uh, returns Python free environment. Okay, now let's import together the JSON collection to work with JSON file and uh, very, let's create uh, some key value dictionary called cars uh, with uh, key manufacturers and a list of manufacturers of cars. You, maybe you are familiar with this. And in the end uh, we would like to print it out uh, this on screen. So let's connect, use the print function with uh, json.dump using specifying the cars dictionary with indentation of four spaces. And that's it. This is a very simple example, but imagine if you connect to a database or, I don't know, an API, you can retrieve this information from a lot of different sources. But in the end, you are sharing this as a JSON format, which is pretty standard and very used by a lot of developers. And let's move on to the terminal to display the output of this simple Python script. Hold on, wait a second, there is a typo. Like in all the live demo, there is always a typo. This is not AV, but env, like environment. Now the script is perfect and ready to execute. Welcome to my terminal. The Python file is in this current directory, so let me list the content. There is a Python file and the Ansible playbook. So using Python 3, cars.py, the execution will be super fast and return one dictionary with inside a list of car manufacturers. So the dictionary has a key manufacturers and the value the list of value. As you can see, there is a long list and is formatted one item per uh, line. This is a standard JSON coding and looks great. As you also, you can notice that there are four spaces between the first uh, uh, for each level of indentation. So manufacturers is as four spaces and Acura, Alfa Romeo, Aston Martin, all these elements have four spaces. 
Yes, great, so now let's automate this code with Ansible. Back on my editor, now let's start coding our Ansible playbook. This is a simple code that automates the transferring and execution of code on remote node. So let's start with a free dash is a YAML document and the name RAM Python script on hosts all of my inventory and we are already ready to move on to the task list. The first task is to run cars.pi script uh, using the ansible.builtin.script Ok, now executable is the Python interpreter, in this case uh, this code is ready for Python 3 and on CMD we, got, we can specify the command to execute cars.pi Ok, well, we execute the code but something that uh, we really we would like is to save the result of this execution so let's save the output on uh, a variable using the register statement and this variable is named cars underscore ho underscore output Ok, because Ansible save this as a raw text. Now we need to convert this, uh, the output to a JSON format. We are going to use uh, a module called Ansible built-in underscore set fact to save, uh, to create a new variable. A new variable will be called cars underscore list and we obtain this variable extracting some data from cars underscore row underscore output so let's uh, specify the value of this uh, output ok but we need to do some uh, more uh, data manipulation so let's take only the standard output so only the output of a command and uh, with a pipe operator we can apply a filter from underscore json in this way Hansible will interpret uh, all the output as a JSON format and save it into cars underscore list variable. We can do a lot of things with this variable but the most easy one is to display on screen using Ansible built-in debug module. Ok? On the variable, on the var parameter we specify cars underscore list and in this way we are ready to go. So Ansible is going to copy the cars.pi script convert the output uh, conver to JSON and display on screen. What if uh, you are curious to know the exact value of the cars uh, row output? Well, we can insert an extra task named uh, print cars underscore row underscore output using the Ansible built-in debug module to display on screen. The variable will be cars row output but let me trigger only on verbosity to run. In this way will be available this task only to when we specify some verbose execution, not in all the execution. Ok, great. So let me recap. The first task is going to copy the cars.pi script on the target node and execute it using Python 3. Save it the output in a raw format in a variable, display on screen on the second task, convert it to JSON and now in the last task is to display the JSON on screen. You can do a lot of data manipulation but this is the most easy one. And now let's move on to the terminal. Back on the terminal, now let's execute the Ansible playbook code. So let me list the content of the current directory, there is the Python script and the Ansible playbook. So this time let's execute ansible-playbook tool, let me specify the inventory file, in this case only my demo machine, I have a, the standard inventory file and the name of the Ansible playbook. The execution is exactly super fast, it's only a few bytes to copy on the target node and uh, process the output. 
Great, we have an OK status and one changed. As we can see, let's scroll down a little bit and this is a JSON formatted output file in Ansible. So first we execute a fax gallery. OK, we got a changed for uh, copy the Python code to the target node. We got a skipped status uh, as expected to the raw output. The conversion went fine. And finally, we got a cars underscore list JSON formatted file inside Ansible with all the manufacturers that we know Acura, Alfa Romeo, Aston Martin, Audi, Bentley, and everything, so on and so forth. Now, this uh, JSON formatted variable is very useful because it's native inside Ansible and we can use it for a lot of other tasks. We can use like a, like a normal variable inside Ansible. And what if uh, we execute the Ansible playbook with uh, verbosity level 2? Okay, well, we just need to type again the same command and add a dash wv. The number of V is the number of verbosity that we would like to achieve. In this case, number two, as you can see, there is more information about the execution in every task. So we got the same result, but in a slightly different way. So now let's focus on the second task. Here we go. We have the output of the cars.py script. As you can see, let's focus on the standard output lines. So these are line by line, as you can see, look like a string. So Ansible was defaulting processing like a string, this output. And uh, I think it's a good approach because basically everything is like a text. But uh, remember that JSON processing enabled you a more fine grade processing time and also you have a lot of more possibility. That's it. Under the hood, Ansible was doing a lot of things, transferring the file to the target node, executing and saving the output. So great, this is like a good tip and tricks to have in your toolbox. Great, let's automate more with Ansible. Now you know how to run a Python script on remote machines after transferring it uh, with Ansible. Thank you for watching. I hope this video was useful for you and I'm looking forward to see you on the next Ansible Pilot adventure. Let's have fun together and have a great day. Yay! Let's automate more. This video is part of our Ansible automation program. Sign up today on www.ansiblepilot.com for uninterrupted exclusive video and so much fun.